the CAC program. And uh, I was riddled with this puzzle that we have so much hardware available on phone devices, but we are not using it to the optimal limit. How can we uh, interact with uh, your device with other hardware except from like the prime modality, which is the touch screen? So I reached out to my professor in HCI, David Woolman, and asked him, can we figure out um, other ways to interact with the devices? And he had already worked on uh, something called the Uniphone, which uses the side of the phone to interact, but that uh, added more hardware to it. So I ended up uh, yeah, writing a usability study design for this, which says uh, basically uh, alternative mobile input methods via onboard hardware only. So we don't need to augment more hardware to it, but we are trying to use uh, the available hardware on phone. So the, the prime objective is to basically use the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone, which is like pretty common nowadays, and the volume buttons on the side for maybe scrolling or zooming into uh, devices, uh, zooming into applications. So basically I wrote uh, this application, which is basically a reader. So it loads up an article, and the primary uh, modality is using the thumb, which causes fatigue in this muscle particularly. And there's already research on that. And the other problem is when you're reading it, on, on like when you're in a bed, you're probably reading it like this, and this phone drops on your face. So we don't want that. So how it works is you can just swipe here on the back, and it will actually scroll for you, and then you can read. So you don't lose the grip around the phone's uh, like the perimeter, and you can at the same time read it like really easily. It goes up, it goes down, and then you can also use the index finger here to um, use the volume buttons to scroll through books, pages, or whatever you want in this case. So based on this, I conducted a usability study uh, with five test subjects to see which was more important right now. And uh, most of the users said that the fingerprint sensor was really satisfying to use. It didn't feel natural at first. But so once you start using it, this motion actually starts feeling more satisfying because you have a really good grip on your phone and you want to use it. So that led me to my next question. What else can we build with this? So I built another application. I called it Dummygram, which is basically an Instagram clone, but it provides you similar actions with it. So. Uh, like this is dummy ground basically. So how Instagram works is you double tap, it likes, it moves on to the next picture, you double tap, it likes again. So this is the prime modality we're targeting here. Uh, so instead of doing this, how about we use a tap for a like without losing the grip, or just scroll through the next images um, like this. So you don't need to lose the grip on your phone and interact with your applications really nicely. And when I presented this design to my test subject, they were like, why doesn't Instagram have this input? Why, what are they waiting for? Because they loved it. They want me to write a full-blown Instagram app with this as the prime modality, and they'll use Instagram more. That was my result like, in, in the, the user of the study. So this is basically it. This is what I did. Um, this, is, this was the research of the entire is there an issue with accidentally triggering the scrolls? Uh, no, uh, because we are pretty confident that we are not accidentally scrolling. <coughs> Moreover, if you scroll up, you can possibly go back. You, you, you can only like if, if the fingerprint is authenticated. So your friends can view your Instagram feeds, but they can't like it. You can make it such that those that won't like, so your friends might not be liking your excess pictures. But only when your fingerprint goes in and it's authenticated, only then we can like the picture. I see. So if I was holding the phone with my four fingers, yeah, it wouldn't activate. No, no, it would have to be a finger. Right, finger and a particular gesture. Basically, this gesture is for the next pictures. You authenticate your likes, so you can basically make sure that only a particular user is liking the images. It like really becomes more secure and gives you an alternate way to interact with devices. So uh, the scope of this was to also study not only fingerprints, but volume buttons. Uh, the test subjects felt that the index finger was not in a good position there. It, it, it added more fatigue to the index position. And then um, since the prime aim was to study how people use phones in their bed, the camera and the accelerometer didn't work that well, like in this mode. It doesn't, like, tracking this motion was not that successful. So they felt, this is really unnatural, but really satisfying to use. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah.
please. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure because usually when I try to log into the iPhone or something, I have to do like a pause. I, like I couldn't just do this and log in after that would be my finger. Yeah. So, like for you to like something, like do you have to wait for a while for it to, like what do you need to like It's, it's pretty fast on Android. I'm not sure about the iPhone. <laughs> 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 that, that, I'm like, it's, it's pretty fast on Android and the, like the worst response time is maybe like 100 milliseconds, not slower than that. Uh, also, it's uh, like iPhone has a fingerprint sensor in the first, in the front, right? Mm -hmm. So it defeats the purpose because we're trying to reduce the stress on this particular muscle, which causes like when well, you're using your phone with a single hand, it causes stress here, which uh, causes in turn to lose grip. So like if the phone is really large, mm -hmm. or if you've been using phone for a lot of while, you tend to lose the grip and the phone falls from your hand. I see. So there are saying it's, it's as fast as a hundred milliseconds to get yourself authenticated. Yeah, which is reasonable. Okay. I mean, that's how it works when you know WhatsApp, right? it takes 100 milliseconds to, right? Uh, because uh, wait, uh, general weight between uh, double tap is 250 milliseconds. Like, you tap one side, you tap again, that's a double tap, right? So, that's pretty much it. Uh, any more questions? Uh, so, I'm going to release this code as like an open source domain. If anybody wants to use this in their application, then they can use it. I also intend to make a full-blown Instagram clone. With this interaction, because I have like really received a promising response from this from my usability study. So, yeah. Thank you.